Hi all. So thanks for your huge response. I'm getting from the uh, LinkedIn, and so that is the reason I thought like that. I just want to create a one five work series for my community. So today onwards, we are looking in a challenge. We will be creating the how we can deal with the real life scenarios in the five part. Okay. So when you come into the thirty days of challenge, you will be become expert on the five part. So definitely, I will be guarantee. I will be with you. So we can start, right? So I will share my screen. So I will creating one more website for you guys. So there you will get complete item. For example, whatever the things you want, everything will be available in the five part free kind of learning session. I will give you the link also. You can sign in, just signing and use the five part materials uh, from the site free. Okay? Yes. So this is the one question I posted today, like a challenge. We have a uh, customer purchase analysis with the spot, that is the heading. So we have some kind of data. This is kind of a data set, like a customer ID. You can think like customer ID and uh, the purchase demo and purchase date. Means the customer is into the one shop and they will be purchasing something, and definitely the customer ID will be generating, and the corresponding purchase amount. And the purchase date also will be generating. So that is the one we are getting the first time, like the customer ID, purchase amount, purchase date, then the amount also you can see here. So now you can see here. Here I am just giving the three, uh, three to six, uh, uh, rows are there. But when you come into the real life, it will be almost maybe millions of data because we are thinking as about in an Amazon kind of company. So. Every day it will be like an order will be transaction will be happen right so that is the reason I'm just giving this is like a small number but how we can cope up with the five part code that is important concept then first thing they will ask you to sample CSV file named customer purchase dot CSV and here the challenge load the data this data into a data set or data frame data frame that is the first thing loading the data frame using the CSV okay. Second thing will be calculate the total purchase amount for the each customer. You can think thing like that. A table contains unique customer ID is unique because I purchase one order. The customer ID for Devi is unique, and other people have unique ID. But I'm I'm maybe I purchase two or three uh, products from the particular shop and also uh, one customer ID with the multiple orders I will be placing. So our customer. Within the given data frame, which customer has huge amount purchase? That means sum of the amount total sum we need to be do here. That is the exact idea. Then coming into the coding part, and tomorrow onwards I will be showing live coding also. But today I'm just giving like an introduction. Definitely, when you create a part data frame, you need to know about from five part dot SQL import part section. That means. Uh, Spark session, we need to be create like a connection because a new job is coming into the Spark architecture. Then Pipa dot import function F, it will be help you to aggregate kind of function will be performed. Then a Spark session builder app name equal to we are just given like customer analysis to get or create. Then data. Now we don't have a CSV file, so we are configuring like a manually we are creating data equal to with an array we are given customer ID, then amount purchase date. The next customer ID, amount, and purchase date. The next customer ID. This way we configure. Then we already have a schema also that is called columns equal to customer ID, purchase amount, and purchase date. Hmm. Then what we can do? We just load into df equal. You can see like df equal to part dot create. So this step what we can do? We just creating a data frame using the part dot create data frame, passing the data and the, the schema name. So that is the step here it's happened. Once you get this data, the next step will be total purchase per customer. So that you can do like in the DF, DF, you need to based on the customer ID. Same thing happened in the SQL like group by based on the customer ID. You just use the group ID and then uh, gen sum of the uh, amount for the particular customer. Some of the amount purchase, some of the purchase amount we are doing. So that is the thing here in this line. Df equal to group by customer ID dot aggregate f of sum of purchase amount alias total purchase amount. Then next next one will be the purchase amount equal to 
order by if you want to order by the purchase amount go to first it will be helpful to whoever the first how uh, the most purchased customer the most in the money was purchased customer then again like a descending order it will be you can see here i will i will run this code so that is the concept today um give me one minute i will create a new workspace new notebook and tomorrow onwards we will be on the live coding section so pyspark pyspark day one okay you can see here then click on run so this data we already uploaded and the schema name also we just mentioned create a data frame okay then next one will be the total purchase group by the customer id based on the customer id we are grouping then purchase amount we we just sum and then display so you, you can see here when i am just first my data frame is looks like 100 this is the date and two this one and three this one this way but when you sum it because i'm just coming collecting one okay one customer id 100 the next one customer id 200 that means 300 sum this will be 300 that means one is the customer id inverse that money will be 600 next customer will be second customer 150 then here it is 120 so that means 270 then three three it will be 50 so last you can see here total purchase per customer order by descending of the total purchase amount dot to first then df dot to shop that will help you too so you can see here customer with the highest purchase will be one the first customer id the customer id equal to one who purchased more amount of the in the particular uh, system so that is the one thing so here the interview question you will get you need to be write the code like uh, the five bar df dot df group by customer id then dot aggregate function of sum of the purchase amount then if you want you can give the alias also then finally you need to be order by f dot okay order by f dot descending from the descending means higher to lower descending the purchase amount dot first if you give like that you will get a complete answer for this i think you hope you enjoy so this is the one for the day one five part series okay Thank you. I will share the website link. You can use, you can, uh, you can log in, and you can use the complete materials from our website itself. Five part preparation, thirty days challenge. Okay. Thank you.